With large swathes of Mexico still underwater, many communities have been cut off for several days. The military is stepping up efforts to reach those trapped by the floodwaters and in the Pacific Beach resort of Acapulco help get thousands of stranded tourists back to Mexico City on military flights. More than 2,000 local and international tourists have been airlifted back to the capital already, but many more have been left behind and some are beginning to become frustrated. We're desperate because we can't return to our city or our jobs. Our time at the hotel is up, so we'll see whether they support us, as they said they would, if they'll continue to provide us with a room. If not, we'll do what we can, but for now there's still no hope of returning. In general, however, people are aware of the efforts being made to get them to safety and expressed thanks for the way Mexicans had pulled together at a difficult time. When the country is coming together, I see everybody helping. Uh, it's, you know, it's a little tired, but, uh, you know, trying to get home as, you know, as best as possible. Acapulco is traditionally full of visitors over the Independence Day holiday when tropical storm Manuel struck the Pacific coast. But while the authorities are slowly getting a handle on the situation in Acapulco, there are fears for the more remote mountain communities where road and communication links are down. Most difficult of all for the authorities is that they are not just facing problems in the west of Mexico. On the eastern side of the country, Hurricane Ingrid has also wrought significant damage, causing landslides and flash flooding. Mexicans are hoping for a break in the weather to give them a chance to regroup and allow the rescue teams to operate more freely. But unfortunately, there seems to be no let up in the rain and powerful winds for the time being. Will Grant, BBC News, Mexico.